Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with another layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2017 June kits again. And my theme for today is to focus on feathers. And if you've checked out the cup files for this month, you'll notice in the set that Kim Watson designed, there are two feathers. And so I don't really use feathers a lot. So this was a nice little fun challenge for me. So I thought I would create a fun, colorful, feathery type of layout. And so I went ahead and did some uh, cutting on my cameo mat here. I chose four of the pattern papers in the kits and cut two feathers, I believe, of each color. I'm using both of those really pretty ombre papers from the Oh My Heart collection from uh, Paige Evans, the pink and the periwinkle color. And then I'm using one of the exclusive hip kit papers and I believe one of the Dear Lizzie papers. And so I've got some pinks, some coral, a light corally pink, and then that periwinkle blue. And I'm going to use some of the pink cardstock as my background and those two summery pool photos. And my challenge when I first started this was I wanted to use color photos because I use black and white a lot. And so I chose these pictures because I felt like the colors just kind of went really nicely with the feathers and the background and I am going to bring in some of the aqua color to match the pool water color and I was just playing around trying to figure out what am I going to do with these feathers um, I am going to jazz up my background here and this is just some white gesso that I'm almost out of I have to kind of <laughs> bang it down to get it out but it's still in there so I'm going to use it until it's completely gone I'm just using my palette knife to kind of smudge some down pretty much in the center of the cardstock and I don't want it to be perfectly straight or you know I, I want it to look kind of messy because I'm going to come over a lot of it with watercolor and I'm going to start with the pink and I'm using the Prima watercolor confections those were from I believe last month's color kit and they are so pretty I, I've really been enjoying using those on a lot of my projects and I'm just trying to get some color down I'm gonna try to pull in the the four main colors that I've got going on in those feathers and so I'm doing the packaging technique splattering I'm using the brush a little bit same thing I always do here um, this is a, a fun quick easy way to get some color on your background and now I'm just gonna directly spray it right on now I'm also kinda mix and match some things from my stash that was a shimmers spray I believe it's called Mango Tango. It's kind of a corally reddish pinkish color and it goes really pretty with pink I think and when it dries it's a little bit lighter and so it's gonna pull from some of that coral color. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's all put back together. And so I'm just gonna keep working on the background here. I know I say that this is a quick and easy way. I say that a lot but and I guess it is quick and easy, but it does take some time. I know that's completely negating what I just said, but um, once you've got your colors picked out and you've got your, your, you know, your gesso down, if you're going to use it, it does come together kind of quickly. The, the part that takes the longest is when you bring everything back on top of it, making sure that it looks like you want it. And so then you have to take everything off and add more. You know, it just depends on the look you're going for and how much patience you have, really. That blue color that I added is a, another Shimmers. It's called Blue Jeans, and that's from my stash. So you can see how that dried. It's really pretty. It lightened up a little bit, and I love how it looks with that pink background. So now I'm just going to play around. I pulled out a lot of embellishments here, and I'm just going to start to push everything around, start to layer, see what I like, what looks good, what doesn't. I've got some of the Vicky Booten die cuts, some of the exclusive... Project Life Cards, um, what else do I have? I've got some of the exclusive wood buttons over there. Some frames, and I'm just kind of playing around here. I really love that rainbow striped Project Life Card, and I think it looks pretty good right there, but it kind of clashes with all the feathers because I don't have all of those rainbow colors going on, and so I'm gonna wind up pulling that, but I did use half of it on my layout from last week. And I chose these two pictures. Um, it's very rare that my kids are in the same picture together. If you notice, most of my layouts are of one or the other of my kids because they, they are never beside each other. It's very rare. And so this day in the pool, they were beside each other. And I was like, oh my gosh, 
they're acting like normal kids. Let me take a picture. Of course, I always have my camera out there no matter what. But yeah, it's, it's very rare that they're together. Sometimes they'll sit on the couch beside each other and before they realize it, I'll come in there really quick and get a picture and then one of them runs away. Because yeah, they just, they just don't hang out. They don't, uh, they like to steer clear of each other. Anyway, so I got some layers tucked in there and some foam. A lot of that, uh, I believe all of that is the Vicky Booten frames that I've got in the background there. And then I'm tucking in this striped Project Life card. I just tore it in half. That way I could get more life out of it. And you can't even tell because it's being used as a layer. And so that's something that you could do to make your products stretch and last longer. Is if you're going to cover up half of it as a layer, you might as well tear it in half and use the part you're not going to see somewhere else. So now here is what I've decided to do with the feathers. You know, I'm not using these in typical feather fashion. I'm just kind of using them as a fun way uh, to, to get some color on the page and some texture. And it just looks different. I don't know. I like it. Doesn't really make sense, but I don't think it really has to. And now here's where I decided, okay, I've got all that pretty aqua up at the top, but no aqua down below. So I pulled out a gelato here, and I'm also going to add some shimmers. And I'm just trying to get some of that color down there. And I think it, it kind of brings everything together when I've got all the colors represented all throughout the page. Because I felt like with that periwinkle color, it kind of, I don't want to say clashes with the aqua, but it, you know, it's a totally, it's in the same family because it's, they're both kind of in the bluish greenish family, but they're total opposites in a sense. If that even makes any sense, it makes sense to me. So I wanted to pull out that color. I think they look good together, but I, I needed that aqua kind of spread throughout the page. So I like how that looks. It kind of pulls the photos. I don't know. It just kind of looks a little more cohesive. Am I just rambling or does that make sense? Sometimes I'm just going and going and going and I'm like, did I just say something that makes no sense at all? Yeah, I just kind of make up my own rules and, and go for it and uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just kind of how my brain works as I'm going and I probably describe colors in a completely wrong, terrible way, but yeah. Anyway, let's move on. You kind of see what I was doing there. I added the aqua and now I think it looks a lot better. So I am going to pull in some thread. I'm going to use some aqua and some of the periwinkle color and just kind of tuck it in so it looks kind of like a messy little layer underneath some of the feathers there. And then I've got some pink and some coral that I'm going to add at the top above the pictures. Yeah, these pictures make me happy because it just looks like my kids are normal kids. It looks like they're having a little conversation and laughing at each other. They were about to run away from each other, but it kind of makes me, it made me feel happy in that moment because uh, I would wonder, you know, if they were in the corner chit-chatting, what would they be talking about? And if you don't know, both of my daughters are autistic and nonverbal, and so they really weren't saying anything because they don't say anything. But it looks like they were chatting, and if they could talk, if they could talk, I have no idea what they would say to each other. Maybe one day I will get to hear it, and uh, yeah, I will definitely have to document that moment when and if it ever comes. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of glue to each of these feathers to get them glued down so they don't go flying off, and I'm going to machine stitch through the centers of each one, and I used metallic gold thread because I just thought a touch of shiny gold would look pretty and I did have to fight with my sewing machine I believe the last time I used metallic thread it started uh, breaking and bunching up and just acting like a misfit sewing machine and I believe someone said I needed to get a special needle yeah I never did that so I probably should but I probably won't think about that again until I go to use the metallic thread the next time. So just keep on me and keep reminding me to do that so I'll remember. Okay, so now I'm tucking in some uh, stickers here. I've got some of the Oasis crepe paper, that little Dear Lizzie cluster of flowers. And yay for me, I'm going to use one of these big chipboard titles. I've been struggling with those. I talked about that in my last layout. But uh, yeah, I like the color of this one. I love that it says sweet things because they are sweet things. And I've got the perfect space for it. 
And so that is going to be my title. Don't have to worry or stress about what to name this layout. I'm going to create a little cluster down here with a chipboard heart, an exclusive wood veneer, and I also added a little wood veneer, or not, well, I guess the wood veneer, wood veneer buttons, um, a little camera up in the center bottom of the two pictures. And I'm going to wind up taking away that little flower cluster just because, I don't know, I just didn't really like it there. It brought in that lime green color of the leaves, and I just didn't have any other lime green stuff going on, so I pulled that. I am going to use that shiny, glittery gold flower up at the top there to pull in a little bit more gold. And I know that's a leaf. Did I say flower? I meant leaf. Um, I know that... I don't really have leaves on the layout, but it kind of looks featherish. It could kind of sort of resemble a feather, maybe. Am I reaching there? But I'm going to leave it because I like it. And I'm going to add some thread behind that little wood veneer button. And I am going to use that cute little flamingo because it is a summery pool picture and flamingos are perfect for any kind of summer page. And so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to add some lines. I'm going to do my journaling with my metallic gold I think it's a uniball roller pen just because I didn't have any black going on and I didn't want to add black journaling for whatever reason for this layout so I'm going to use gold down here at the bottom so you can see it better in person and then the last thing I'm going to do is add some Heidi Swap gold color shine just to bring out a little bit more of the gold and I think I added a little bit more of the aqua and the periwinkle splatters as well but that is going to wrap this layout up and even though I didn't use feathers in a typical feathery way I love how this turned out I love the texture all the colors I love how the background looks it looks kind of messy and artsy and just you know that's how I like to do it however you want to define it but uh, yeah I think it turned out pretty cool considering I really did not know what to do with feathers I I don't know, I see other layouts with feathers, and I think, man, that looks gorgeous. But whenever it's time for me to use feathers, I'm like, how do I use these? I don't know. So I just kind of made them into fun little layers there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and thank you for watching.